Hi everybody, this is Matt Geary and this is the Geek Pride cast. Uh, we don't have as many people today. We've got some <laughs> old faces, we've got some new faces and we've got Gearsden. Great. So, uh, <laughs> we'll start our introductions. Uh, Alright kids, you know me. I'm Gearsden <laughs> on this lovely summer's eve drinking some Robinson's fruit juice for my Kiss Glow in the Dark mug. <laughs> Is it my turn now? <laughs> yeah. Hi. Carry on then. <laughs> who, who are you? Who are you? I'm on TV. Face? Shut up! It's my first time. Uh, <laughs> this, these these are like my 15 minutes of fame. Um, I'm Christina. I'm not having a lovely day because it's very hot out, but um, I'll do my best. So cool. yeah, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Laura. If you don't know that by now, yeah, you should. You, ha you having one of those days, Laura? <laughs> we one of those. I'm, uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I couldn't have tell when you came storming on, throwing your microphone around. <laughs> because it wouldn't work, and it was being a pain in the ass. And then the I have a mouse with a, a ball. Wait, there, you have there a mouse go. with a ball? Uh... Yeah, it's it's like oh God, one of those ones. And it, the ball goes in the top like that, and then the ball fell out, and I dropped my ball, and my ball just went rolling around everywhere. So <laughs> I'm making no comment on that. <laughs> and and I had to like put trousers on for this as well. So see, this yeah, is why I put in effort. I'm film from chest up, Laura. Think about well, it. I'm I'm filming from the chest up, but because I fidget a lot, I didn't want to like fidget and do that, and then it's like just pants and. Uh. Do a basic, in or do, do a basic instinct on us all. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> and that's not pleasant for anyone. You never know. <laughs> we might get more viewers. I'll do it next time. Right. Well, before we sort of uh, start off with uh, all the great news that was uh, just announced uh, mm. about what an hour ago, uh, I suppose we should talk more about uh, our uh, our first Romanian. On uh, the Geek Pride cast, we've had our first American last week. We've now got our first Romanian. So uh, she's what's... so cute as well. Yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> she's, she's really cute. Do you not think she has like the world's cutest voice? No. Oh. I'm she going does. to use this adorable. voice from now on. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what don't it... focus on me. Focus on Laura and her ponies. Her yeah. many, many ponies. Oh. I can. I can name them all if you like. We can have a pony, pony tour. No. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you, what do you do yourself with yourself in Romania then, Christina? Uh, what's a day? To, what's your day job? I'm a teacher. Oh, what do you teach? Oh, all right. Yeah, I work at a school for uh, kids with special needs. So. Uh, a bit of a legend then, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. I think so, working with special needs kids is definitely s something special, and it's sort of uh, you've got a lot of time for people who can do things like that. It's very good. Uh, maybe, but here it's like, oh, you couldn't do anything better. You couldn't teach normal kids. <gasps> oh, so <laughs> that's horrible. It is. I know, but I th things are changing, but barely. Yeah. We're, we're slow like that. Oh. It's all those vampires. Yeah, they suck the <laughs> intellect out of some people, obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still looking yeah. for that piece of Vlad the Impaler, by the way. Actually, I think I should do a piece about something that happened a few years back, speaking of vampires. Mm -hmm. uh, there are these legends about Strigoi, which are like vampires, but in a certain region of the country. And a bunch of people just dug out their dead relative and impaled the body, oh my that God. it was a vampire. And then they dug his heart out and burned it and drank the ashes. So Christ on the stick. Crazy Romania. <laughs> yeah, not not the entire Romania. It, no, there's no, that no. region of the country that everyone kind of hates. Just, I mean, they don't hate it. They just kind of loathe it. But to be honest, I don't think it was. It's just Romania that did crazy stuff with their dead. Uh, to be honest, I saw a documentary about. Um, sort of graveyard design and coffin design from like the the nineteenth, the eighteenth and nineteenth centuries, and they used to put sort of like like pipes from to the coffin all the way up, so the dead could talk to people, or just in case they were buried alive, they could talk yeah, with, to somebody with a little bell. Yeah. Apparently, 
apparently the you're wallying again. The most the requested item for people. Am I? Oh, okay. Well, we can't blame my mic again. So <laughs> I don't know what this is. Is anybody but... is anybody downloading anything in your in your vicinity? One second, Scott. What are you doing on the internet? <laughs> okay, because because I'm going porn. I'm going in and out of focus. He's not watching porn because I can see his computer from here. And if he was yeah, watching okay. porn, I wouldn't be here. I'd be <laughs> watching porn. <laughs> um, Sorry, and were, I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. Um, oh yeah, things that people. Video. Yes, things that people want to be buried with. Loads of people want to be buried with like a fully charged mobile phone. So if they're buried alive, they can just like. Because yeah. you totally get signal six feet underground. And after you've but, yeah. been embalmed and. Come back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But you've got like. Uh, there's Bitches actually. be crazy. There is actually a disease which um, makes you look like you're clinically dead. And um, there was a guy who woke up in a morgue. Or was it, was it a girl? Somebody basically woke up in a body bag in a morgue. Because they thought, you know, the, the paramedics and stuff thought they were dead. Yeah. I, I read the story, I don't know how true it was, but it was a woman, and um, she woke up in the morgue and terrified the, the morgue assistants, so, like they fainted, and her response was basically, oh, sorry, again. <laughs> <laughs> it happened more than once. But that, that could have been a made up story, but I'm going to pretend it's true because I like it. <laughs> so back back to Romania. Um, Christina, is uh, is geek culture quite big over there, or is it uh, is it still fledgling? Or hmm, it depends. We we actually have a comic con. Do you? Uh, I mean, it's not a comic con. It's it's in, like it, it kind of is, but it really isn't. But uh, John Reese Davis was invited this year, and he came, and everyone was very excited about him. Ah. And it's mostly for anime because anime is big here. Well, that's very good. But everybody's say, watching Bleach. I saw I Bleach. The um, I was gonna say uh, Phil, uh, one of the guys who writes for us, and his mate Dave, uh, they went to the London Anime Con and they talked to. Uh, I don't know my anime very well. Uh, something Jacks. Something that's from Bleach. Um, some Basement Greenjo. Jabber, no. no. Jabber Jack, what's that? What were you just about to say there? Uh, Grim Joe. No, the next one you said. No, it's Jab the same guy. It's got Jab like Grim Joe. Jabber, Jabber Jack or something? Is Not it? Jabber Jack. Anyway. It's, it's kind of like a French name, but with Japanese pronunciation or something like that. Uh, I'm going to Jack. Google it because, you know, I can. Yeah. Not, well, not, not being a big, uh, big anime person, the... Um, well, anyway, they filmed. Jagger Jacks. That's it. That's the fella. Yeah, he's uh, he's at the start of a video cool. they did. So That's yeah. Very cool. Um, <laughs> quite I like an interesting. the other one better. I'm trying to remember his name now. The other holo. Yeah, well, yeah. Carry on, carry on. <laughs> well, I remember. <laughs> Urukyora. Yes, I like Urukyora. Ah, you've got the pronunciation and everything. Look at that. I actually did a year of Japanese. I forgot almost everything. But yeah, <laughs> what do you remember? It. What can you say in Japanese? Um, Arigato gozaimasu, Matsan. Fuck I'm not hell. sure what I'm thanking you for, but I'm thanking you for something. <laughs> I can only say, um, it's a tekimasu, and that's just because they play it all the time at Yosushi, and I go to Yosushi a lot. So, it's a tekimasu. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the other one would be gochiso sama deshita, right? Because itadakimasu is what you say before you eat. Yes, and I don't know what you say after. You. Usually, I just pay and leave. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, at least I pay. Yeah, you shouldn't pay. You should just run. Yeah. I, I know. Thinking. Yeah, but then. <laughs> I was just randomly thinking, uh, Christina, the other day, um, how you managed to uh, become a writer for us, because it wasn't really on purpose, was it? It was sort of kind of because you 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 you, enter, you unwittingly entered a competition, didn't you? Yeah, I did, and I won, <laughs> and I, I, I technically didn't win because I gave that to a friend of mine. I'm not even sure she used it because she lives in the UK, so yeah, I won nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Basically. 
Uh, we had what was a uh, you have to like and share a picture, and you got a hundred and fifty pound sort of was it a spa or something? Yeah. Uh, some some spa, and you just basically liked the picture and um, shared it anyway. And I contacted him and went, congratulations, you've won. But where are you from? And you're like, Romania. And I'm like, oh, oh, this is a UK only competition. <laughs> and you then, should have put that the first thing on top, like <laughs> UK only. You yes. other bastards are ostracized. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Chris well, Christina. If you come to the UK, we'll go to a spa. <laughs> we'll owe you a spa you visit. Pay or something. <laughs> Well, we'll negotiate that. We'll see. We'll uh -huh. <laughs> baby steps. Yeah. I'm not believing you. We'll just use <laughs> yeah. the money to buy ponies. Yeah, it's true. No, I this, have all the ponies. Where has this love from ponies come from, by the way? Obviously, this is a running joke, but where does it, where's yeah. it come from? The weird thing is, like, there's the My Little Pony cartoon, which I watch and I love, and I, like, buy all the toys, but I'm actually not that like I'm not one of those people who always talks about nothing but ponies, it's just because my profile picture was a pony and from that everyone on the Geek Pride writers group just went, Laura's a pony, Laura's obsessed with ponies. So now if you notice, every time somebody else brings up a pony and then I join in, I don't start the conversation. <laughs> it's just everyone suddenly decided that I was obsessed with ponies and I'm actually, I'm more obsessed with other things to be fair. I don't know. There, I can see what one, two ponies in the background there already. Yeah, yeah, but in this the is graveyard. one. This is when I picked up the graveyard. Um, one. It, this is one tiny corner of my house. You can't kind of see my behemoth comic bookcase and then my other stuff that clutters up the rest of my house. I'm pretty Pick sure. But on the right oh. hand, on the right hand side, is there not? On your sorry, on your left hand side, is there not a bunch more ponies? Yeah, yeah, there are. I'll show you <laughs> my pony castle. But those are all the ponies I have. But I'm not obsessed with ponies at all. I'm not obsessed with ponies. <laughs> those those are all the ponies I have. Obsession. Can I yeah. ask you a question? What, Me, what, yes. What What do they do? The ponies. Yeah. What this one actually? Hang on. Lights up and plays a little song. <laughs> which I will play for you. You, you know, so you see, I wasn't going to do this. He asked, and now this is happening. Uh, Other people <laughs> enable me. Okay, we'll do this. Here we go. Oh, that is so cute. I know. Did you hear the music as well? Yeah. Did you hear the music? Okay. Yeah. I won't play it again then. Well, we can, add, we can do that for our sort of kind of, our, I've got a, a, like a, a trial se um, section we can do in this podcast, but we'll, we'll go, we'll move on to the, um, to the big news that was announced at uh, seven o'clock. Uh, yes, yeah. I haven't time. heard who it is, so this is going to be a surprise to me. Whoa! Who was shall it? We have a shall we have a drum roll? One minute. Yes, one we minute. Should. Drumming, drumming. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll do we'll do the drum roll on Google Effects. Okay. Where, okay. Where, where <laughs> that is all getting excited. Right. So, for all those who do not know, the new doctor is. Peter Capaldi! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to Google him or something? No, no, I was hoping for Idris Elba. But Everyone was hoping for that, according to Twitter. Because then, you know, the Idris Elba. Yeah, this, to be honest, none of these names mean a lot to me. Um, not being a massive Doctor Who fan, one um, well, which I know is blasphemy, and this is big news, and yeah. it is the, the biggest sort of. We'll take your geek badge away. Well, I'm, I'm a bit geeky in other things. That's that's it, you know. No, no leaders yeah. in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's, I don't know what the crack is. Yeah. You know. So basically, uh, we're going to have to be led by Laura and your, yourself what? on uh, what how big. This news is so Peter Capaldi. Okay. Obviously, he's a. I've seen him in. I can't remember the name of the series, but he swears a lot in that, and he's a Scottish spin doctor. The the thick of it. That's it. Thing. Yeah, that's so it. Yeah. I don't know this. This is just what I've read in Google in like the last twelve hours. <laughs> right. Well, he. I uh, also know that he's fifty-five years old. Really, Peter Capaldi. Apparently, so he does, he does look quite old. Yeah. 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 It's an improvement. I'm kind of happy he's not 
like Harry Styles because I heard people wanted yeah. that. Like, no, don't. Yeah. You're going to put a baby to be the doctor. I I know. I mean, I'm I'm happy that they've got someone older at least. Like I was hoping they they'd go outside of white male, but you know, hey, they've they've stuck with that. Uh, but I'm glad that he's an older guy because the last few doctors have just been bounce 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 everywhere. So it would be nice to see one that's not like hopped up on e numbers. Now imagining David Tennant hopping and bouncing. So how do you think he's going to play? Because yeah. he's obviously going to be a bit, I'm oh, sorry, in a more elderly gentleman, and he's um, he, he's a bit more, he's more mature. I think what you think that's going to sort of come across in his attitude as Doctor Who. You reckon it'll be a more sort of methodical or or what? Hmm. I don't know. I heard mm. everyone saying that he's going to be a little bit of a darker Doctor. I'm kind of going for that. Christopher Eccleston was quite dark. I loved yeah. him. He's my favorite yeah. doctor. <laughs> Sorry, David Tennant fans, but he's my favorite doctor. I liked him too. I think Matt Smith was my favorite until I saw the latest season, and then I was like, eh, no. I haven't even finished the last season. I should, but I can't. I it's, it's didn't finish so the last season. I couldn't. Actually, no, to be fair, it wasn't Matt Clara Smith. Is. Yeah, it wasn't Matt Smith's fault. It was just I cannot Bad stand script. Clara. No one can what? stand Clara. I think it's either no, okay. he's replacing Amy or just because she sucks. <laughs> yeah. The thing is it wasn't it wasn't that she was replacing Amy, because you know, companions come and go and I've been fine with every different companion so far. It was more just the fact that Clara's whole thing is, Ooh, I'm so terribly special and you're like, Oh for God's sake, you stupid dozy bitch and you just kinda wanna reach into the screen, slap her in the face until she stops doing this. I can travel through time and oh I know the doctor's real name and whatever junk she's got going on I don't even care I just want her to get shot in the head I didn't get that far I I think the last episode I saw was the one where she was eaten by a computer program <laughs> what? Uh, if only they'd made that permanent <laughs> you have a very strong opinion on this I just didn't like her so I kind of stopped watching I will eventually yeah. finish it but I've got uh, like a whole stack of shows that I need to catch up with because the season started to suck, like Supernatural. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a shame. Are there any good shows left on TV? Yes, yes, there is. There's lots. <laughs> Name <laughs> three. Is it Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad. I haven't mm. seen that. Well, I mean, you got to check it out. It. it will change your life. Okay. Um, I'm in Graceland right now. I'll tell you what else. Sons of Anarchy is back on Televizzle soon. Televizzle. Yeah, <laughs> Sons of Anarchy. You get on Sons of Anarchy, that's awesome. Okay. What else have we got? Walking Dead will be back October. Oh, yeah. you know. I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to that. Are we interested to see what they do with the, um, what's his name, the governor in that, considering he dies in the comic books, but obviously doesn't in the series. So. Yeah, he's, he will eventually. He's, well, he's a good actor, though, isn't he? Everyone Walking. dies eventually, so... Yeah, <laughs> at least in that show, so. okay. I'm sure he'll he'll die painfully. Maybe lose the other eye. And so <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Laura, what are you saying? That's right. Walking Dead is one of those things I can't watch that with a straight face either. And Scott, Scott's in the corner sniggering because he knows he knows what I'm like. When, so Rick. yeah, Rick, when, oh yeah, spoilers alert. When Rick's woman, the pregnant woman, died. I don't know who any of the names are. But yeah, Wait. the pregnant woman. <laughs> yeah, I know her name, but I can't remember yeah. her right now. Well, it doesn't matter because she's dead. Laurie, so, Laurie Grimes. Okay, so she squeezed out a baby and died. And then Rick's response to that was to just kind of go, oh, no, was basically exactly what he said. And then he just sort of led down on the floor. Like he didn't even collapse with grief. He just kind of went in a corner and led down. Well, maybe yeah, well, the lads had a lot to with. Yeah, I was gonna say I mean, he's had so much shit going on. Everybody's dying around him that maybe all he, maybe he's cried out, Laura. Maybe he just can't bring himself to cry once again. There you go. I know, I but it, it, <laughs> he's not real. Why are you getting on at me? Like I've just like ha. You're a horrible you're person. Right? You're a horrible person. Yeah, we'll take away I am your not, ponies. I'm not a horrible person, and don't you dare, Christina, <laughs> monster. <laughs> This is why I like The Walking Dead, because I'm a monster. 
Oh, okay. I actually like Daryl in The Walking Dead, but I hate his fangirls. Is is he the one with the crossbows? He is the one with the crossbow. Yep. He only has Oh, I one. like him. He's oh, okay. He should get him. two and dual wield in the next season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, after wow. he had a crossbow, every other show had a crossbow or something like that. Like Revolution. Yeah, Hawkeye totally nicked it. <laughs> Everyone's got bow and arrows though now. That's the cool yeah. thing. Like crossbows, but then you've got Hawkeye, you've got Merida, you've got the Arrow I Show. Love Hawkeye. I love Hawkeye. Everyone loves Hawkeye. I watch Arrow, but I'm two episodes behind. Arrow is awesome. Actually. I have to say, I um I didn't read the comic books. Yeah. Uh, the series is amazing. I'm I'm really liking that to be honest. And I just like yeah. when he just goes around killing people. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm watching I quite Evolve, like... so I'm not going to comment on good shows. <laughs> That's another one I haven't seen. I've been really bad with watching it's, telly. It's, it's a bad show, Teen Wolf, I mean. Oh, I mean, okay. The, the first season is horrible, and the second season just has really a, a lot of hot guys running around naked. So everyone says it's a fantastic show. The but Teen not. Wolf, you say? I'll be yes, looking at no that. No one is a teen in that show. Well, like probably the, the for the best if they're running around naked. Teen is 28. Yeah, yeah kind of. It, yeah. It's a lot of eye candy. It's, it's actually made of eye candy. Oh, Don't excellent. objectify us! Don't objectify us! Yeah, BF. Shut up! Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> they have. Have you guys seen Immortals? Like no. the movie? No. It's, it's it's a horrible movie. Don't watch it. Oh yeah, uh, it's not with um, what's his name, Henry Cavill. It is. Yes, yeah. I have seen it. I have seen it. Yes, I I, I don't yeah, know. I, I kind of liked it in a sort of good bad way. I don't know. It's not it's not as good as like Three Hundred or whatever. But it's still good. the the guy that played <gasps> the God of War is in Teen Wolf. And he uh, had like an eight pack in in Immortals, so everyone's pack. watching. Eight pack. What the I don't even know, but they claim it's an eight pack. I it, think it, I had an action figure Gambit. with an eight pack once, but they they just was looked it odd. It wasn't. It they was do, like Action Man or something. But yeah, it's yeah. They, they just look creepy. Really? <laughs> was it shaped like Action Man? No, they had just like Action Man stickers. You know, it was wrapped ah. in an Action Man sticker and then another cover. Awesome. And you could just glue them on walls and every kid had like doors and walls and notebooks covered in Action Man and planes. Back to oh. back to obviously you know, the big news, just one to kind of fin <laughs> finish that off. Obviously not oh, yeah. Think. Um, do you think that it was such a big deal to do the sort of kind of half hour live special for this one, or they've never done it before, from what I remember? So what? why not? I didn't see it. It's good. It. No, it, it was, was just like Zoe Ball, just sort of kind of yabbering on about. Yeah, they, they had eleven I doctors. No, I think I. Know I didn't know Zoe though. Ball was still a thing. I thought she'd I sort of quietly yet. gone. Her but dad used to do a science, to used to do science stuff on uh, TV, and then she's a radio presenter, basically, yeah. over here. And she's, like, there yabbering on about, you know, how exciting it is, and you've got a, the studio audience of um, Whovians dressed as different Doctor Who people. Um, Doctor I, bet, Who. I, bet different like, I bet they were, like, a jillion girls dressed as the TARDIS, because that's... I've been going to more cons this year, and I've noticed this. At every con... You cannot shake a stick without hitting a girl dressed as a TARDIS. What, with the black, the black milk dresses? Not even the black milk. We're talking like just a plain blue dress with white rectangles stuck on it. Half of them have put no effort in, which wow. is just, you know, disappointing. But I think I know why they did it like this, though. Because last time when they went from David to Matt, they just showed pictures of Matt and everyone just hated him instantly. Because he was supposedly dark and brooding, and Twitter exploded with hatred and rage because they wanted someone kind of like David. And now they probably yeah. decided, okay, we should bring him out and he should talk so people would know that he's not, I don't know, weird and unsuited. And yet, on Twitter, yeah. there are a lot of people ra raging that he's not hot and young, which kind of pisses me off. Because he should just be talented. Yeah. Yep. I yeah, agree. Exactly. I, mean, I don't mind the eye candy, but for that, I'll just watch Dean Wolf. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I it's would good you for something. Would you, would you ever want the female doctor? No. 
Why not? Why? I don't know. Maybe. Depends on who plays it. Her. Him. <laughs> what? Yeah, I would say I would say more it depends on who writes her. Yeah. If they ever do it. Because it's if if they had her as kind of or him as after his regeneration, like five episodes in, he's like, Oh wow, it's really tough to be a woman or something. You know, yeah. it, that would just be awful and terrible. And, yeah. Is somebody and then, playing something in the background, by the way? I'm hearing a lot of noises. Just no. Hang on a minute. I think no, I'll I, put Uber on. Give me a second. Is it that? Yes. Right. Oh, I was about to say, Stop, no. I just got a bing from Andy Haig tagging me in a post. Stop tagging me, Andy. You're making things <laughs> go bing. <laughs> Leave me <laughs> alone. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you, um, isn't this meant to be like the last incarnation of the Doctor? I'm not sure. Isn't there meant to be like twelve of them all together, or supposedly, but probably not, because How do you think well, I, much money. I read a thing with one of the creators where they said that the like whatever it is, twelve regeneration rule, is uh, a rule in the same way that the speed limit is a rule. Like it's a rule, but you can break it. And there's no the, the time lords aren't around to like enforce that anymore. Yeah, so, do you remember when he died and River kind of breeded her regenerations into him, so she just got stuck as River Song? Yeah. So they could use that and say that she gave him life, like her yes. next twelve or eleven incarnations, or something like that. Yeah, it would be a bit of a cheap I think, exit from the rule. I think but it's whatever. like. Like many classic sci-fi shows, half the time I don't think it has a clue what it's doing. In the best possible way, they're kind of making it up as they go along. So just sort of go yeah. with it, I think. I think that's what sort of kind of... I've, like, I've watched it um, you know, on and off for years and stuff, but never been a massive, massive fan of it, you know. Mm. I should be, you know. It's a British, it's a British sci-fi. It's the longest-running British, uh, the longest-running sci-fi program in history. Um, you know, it's, I should like it, but I just, I've never, for some reason, it's never sort of kind of taken. <laughs> and I, I don't know why. Um, That's a what make is, your own Christina silence. What's Christina waving around? It's, oh, okay. it's a okay. make your own silence, silent thingy, <laughs> which a friend of mine got from England. That's so England. Cool. Yeah, I, I haven't the, made it yet. I should, but I'm lazy. The I, weird what, thing is that it's like, all, all the... British people I know are kind of, yeah, yeah, it's really good and I really like it. And then all my American friends are like, oh my god, it's the best thing ever! That's just so because you're so... Americans. <laughs> I, I know, maybe. I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was that big in America, to be honest, until more recently. I think, you know, so, the, only, the first time I thought it might actually be of note in America is when I was watching Big Bang Theory and Sheldon's all like, well, we can watch uh, Doctor Who or uh, Red yeah. Dwarf. Well, that's right. Yeah, I have to tape Doctor Who. He says or something, you know. So it was just it was bizarre because I thought I think like, it's this... it's big among American geeks, and yeah. most of my friends are geeks from various countries. So that sort of I think in America as a as a whole, they they're probably not that into it. But... Yeah, I don't think they are because I've got a mm. lot of American friends who are not geeks, and they yeah like mm, whatever. <laughs> David Tennant was hot. That's what I hear a lot. But other than that, no. Objectifying us men again. I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah, it's the glasses. The baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a day goes by, not a day when I'm walking down the street and some woman's all like, "Yeah, check out his ass. Check, check out his face. Check out his I'm sick of it. hair." I'm, I'm sick like, of it. I tell you. Well, I'm. <laughs> I know, Gearson. What's it all about, man? You know. Well, like I said, though, you know, it's it's one of these things. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, look, I'm not being <laughs> funny, but if you guys don't want to get shouted at by women in the street, maybe you should dress a bit more modestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Whoa, we're red women. We Stop can't control ourselves. Boobs, guys. Look, yeah. these these chaps are cool. Okay. <laughs> I wear these because they're cool. All right? <laughs> I hope you mean temperature-wise and not fashion-wise. <laughs> a bit of both. A bit of both, you yeah. know. My, my ass cheeks go right, you know. It's sort of, oh, especially on a hot day like this, you know. Need a bit of, bit of ventilation. Bit of ventilation. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, you know. Plus, uh, you know, plus if you guff, 
then it sort of escapes faster, doesn't it? It doesn't sort yeah. of hang around your clothes. So I, I, I like a spot of free balling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's something I do quite regularly, free balling. You know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be free balling all month all month next month. Oh, when you're in the states. When I'm in the states, I'll be free balling <laughs> everywhere in 50 degree is heat. It, is it bad that I'm in my head singing free ball to the <laughs> tune of Leonard Skinner's Free Bird? <laughs> uh, yes, even better when you go to ki- when you go to the Kiss Golf Course, you'll be free balling free balls. Mate, mate, it's gonna be balls balls galore, there, isn't it? It's like. <laughs> There's going to be that many rock and roll balls flopping about. It's going to be unreal. Dude, you can totally take that the wrong way. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not meaning it in a, you know, in a, in a, in a sexual way. I'm just saying, you know, rock and roll, kiss golf course. <laughs> Me, free balling. It's a good and night. And then they wonder why we objectify them. Yeah. I know, oh, I'm not right? Pierce, anything. Is, Pierce is walking down the street with his balls free, and you know he wonders why you're all like pointing and sort of kind of. Yeah, but I've got to be comfortable, though, aren't I? I've got to be comfortable. I mean, do, they not, do they not get sweaty? You know, obviously, because you know it's going to be a hot country, and they're, well, going to, they're not going to stick to your inside of your leg or something. I told you about my problem, didn't I, when I went to went went to Europe, and, <laughs> and it was it was warm in France, and like yeah, mid. This is educational. <laughs> I had, me, I, had me, topic. I, had, I had my duds on and they were chafing and it were doing my head in and um, I just wanted to be comfortable in a hot and sweaty environment so what they do is I took my underwear off and just put my shorts on and I happily free balled down the chandelier <laughs> <laughs> where you proceeded to be turfed out of some shop because yeah, you, yeah. You, you were walk, you down there in there in your kiss, your kiss t-shirts and your yeah. shorts Virgin Mega Stores, though, it was terrible. Free balling down the Champs Elysees just sounds like a, a poem. <laughs> it was a it was, it was, uh, was free balling. I like how you free say Free balling down the Champs Elysees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it was like, you know, it, it, it was rock and roll on all day, do you know what I mean? It's like, what do we do? Well, I'm not going to go and mourn, I'm just going to free ball. <laughs> Oh um, yeah, I have to say, I don't, I'm I'm not a massive fan of free balling because you know things get stuck to your leg and stuff when it's a bit too hot, and um, that's you know very uncomfortable. Something girls don't like, probably... girls don't have to worry about this thing, man. You know these things are just. Well, no, but we have a similar problem with free boobing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> because as as Christina knows, I've had some bra problems recently, haven't I, Christina? Oh, that yes. I was on Twitter about. Yeah, um, for for those not following me on Twitter, um, I good. got a really bad pain in my chest. Thought I was having a panic attack, but it turned out my bra was just too small. Uh, so yes, now I don't have any, <laughs> now I don't have any bras that fit. You should be grateful you don't have to. We women don't have to wear corsets anymore. Oh, corsets Unless are awesome! Though. I, I, I love yeah, corsets. Yeah, no, I actually have corsets, but, yeah, but you actually no, I should wear corsets wear instead now. of bras. Yes, you should. Yeah. Marilyn Munson wore a corset. Genius. Marilyn Munson wore a corset. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look yeah. sexy though. It just looks like a, a goth. Well, it? you know, Marilyn Munson is the god of fuck. Well, he was. You know, he was awesome. What, what's he now? Like the god of heavy petting? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's unfortunate. In the, in the swimming pool, there's a picture of Marilyn Munson saying with a cross and no heavy petting. Oh, no, it is unfortunately the, the god of chunk. He's a big lad, yeah, he's a bit bloated. You Aww. know, for, for a moment, my mind went to Charles Manson, and I'm kind of like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm back now. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, li- I like corsets. I like corsets on, on girls. I think they, you know, obviously I know that they can cause sort of internal problems. To, you know, if you... If Only you if your... you have, like, badly fitting ones and you do them too tight. Yeah, but I love because I have a bunch of friends in the burlesque scene, and they they all pretty much wear corsets almost daily, and they seem fine. Mm, corsets. Mm, yeah. Mm. Sorry, there's me objectifying women in corsets, but they're awesome. You bastard, Laura. Let's yeah. objectify some men. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Laura. Look at the free balls on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, wins it. I, I think uh, Sean wanted to have a, a bit of a section about um, uh, different views. Well, actually, what did he? What did he want us to talk about, Sean? 
Well, he's like, not here anyway, so... Okay, yeah. we can move on to the thing I wanted to talk about <laughs> instead. So, we've moved on from the Doctor. Uh, we've had a little discussion. But uh, th this section I'd like to talk about... So, basically, each one of us has to talk about either a game we've played, a book we've read, um, mm -hmm. a film we've watched, or something along the lines. Something you've done, or watched, or played, and you think, that's awesome, I want to talk about it. One thing. Gearston, starting on you. Anything? Wait, get in. Right. What have I been up to? What have I been playing? Well, I'll tell you what I've been playing, kids. Fallout New Vegas. I've not played it for a while. I think it, it's been out a while, obviously. Um, and I thought, why not? I'll have a dabble on it. It's only eight quid on the marketplace. I think it's eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. I thought I'll have a do at it. And it's probably one of the most awesome, violentest RPGs I've played in my life. You know, like... Did you play just, Fallout 3? For, well, yeah, I played Fallout 3, but like it's all you know. It's obviously after Fallout 3, and it's all like in the desert, you know, in California and, and, and Vegas and all that. And you know, I like all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, and I've been I've been macking it out big style. Like got all the uh, DLC for it. Um, how, many hours, how many hours gameplay have you got so far? 50 hours. I've done 50 hours. So I've done all the DLC. Um, I've not finished the main story yet. Um, but I have changed some of the consequences. I have changed some of the main story from the DLC, which I think is quite good. Um, like, for example, um, one of the DLCs, The Lonely Road, um, there's a bit where there's a nuke that gets launched, uh, and you can either decide who you want to drop it on, or where it should be aimed. Um, and I chose a Caesar's Legion, so like I decimated their camp and everything. And then when I finished the DLC, it said like the camp's basically now nu nuclear. You know, it's just all radiated and everything. And like everyone's like ghouls and all that kind of stuff. I was like, oh, this is mega. <laughs> so like, I I, pop I popped along with my hunting rifle and, and uh, all my stuff. And my character now has got the same outfit as the dude on the front of the box. Like you know, with the gas mask on and the gun and all that, right? Yeah, so yeah. I was looking like I was lo looking pretty awesome, and I've got a like half robot, half dog dude with me, Whoa. and I've got like a cowboy woman with me as well, and like we just like ripped it all up. It was awesome. Sorry, I'm just watching. The, I'm just watching Christina and, <laughs> and Laura, and like Christina's sort of kind of looking behind her, and Laura's sitting there with the nails, well, kind of going you know, like. <laughs> It's a good you game. Said, you Just, talked about books, and that that's where my bookcase is. I was looking at my books. Do, you, do you, does Fallout New Vegas, uh, does it sort of tick any boxes for you ladies, or is it just nothing that sort of kind of goes on your radar whatsoever? Um, Scott plays it. That's about all I can really contribute. Right. Well, do you like Mad Max? Yeah. Well, it's like Mad Max. I've Imagine Mad, Mad Max, Max, but you can be oh Mad Max. I don't know, I, I, I've seen... I've, I kind of look over his shoulder while he's playing stuff, so I know... It's one of those things that if, if Scott plays a game, I usually don't bother, because I can just look up and go, oh, sweet, it's like it's like playing, only I don't suck. <laughs> that, that, that's the same, actually. It's I, like your avatar. I never played... Yeah. Um, I never played Fallout 3. No, actually, I, like, I started playing Fallout 3, then I went back to uh, Northern Ireland, and my brother was playing it. And I sat there and I watched him play it, and it got to the point where it's like, well, I've watched him play the entire game for like a week now. Um, I'm not going to play it myself because I know exactly what happens. And it's yeah, but it's all exploring, though. You're missing out on exploring. I like I'm, I'm, I'm an MMO veteran, right? I played 250 hours of uh, Knights of the Old, not Knights of the Old Republic, the, the Old Republic, um, Star Wars The Old Republic. I paid about a month, like like literally R on R, a month of World of Warcraft, you know, I know about exploring, I spend, I spend my life exploring. Oh, it's, it's like, it's like Skyrim though, that's a good game, isn't it? I'm back, I actually back on that, I'm on level, I'm like level 16 or something, I'm getting some pretty good shit now, so, um, yeah. You've still got dragons flying down and like, yeah, I'm, it's I'm going, skeledim, 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 dim, dim, dim. <laughs> What does your dude, just before we go any further, what does your dude look like on Skyrim? Mine's got uh, dwarven armor on, and um, he's a Nord, so he looks kind of like me, all Viking-like and stuff. My dude's a Nord, right? And he kind of looks like oh. me, but he's got death metal face paint on, and just has a pair of furry underpants. <laughs> 
You've got an orc, why not? Laura. You've got mm-hmm. an orc. I have an orc, yeah. I had a Khajiit, but then something happened and my save went and something like that. So I got an orc, and it's really weird because I'm maxing out my smithing skill, which now means I spend hour after hour just clicking and smithing like gold ring, gold ring, gold ring, gold ring, iron armor, iron armor, iron armor. And then I'll run out of stuff and go, oh, great. Now I have to go on a quest to get more stuff to smith with. <sighs> so I'm seeing going through dungeons as a chore to get me to the next smithing. <laughs> you poor thing, thing, but yeah. I can't sort of focus. I'm not one of those... I'm one of those guys who likes sort of all round doing different things. So it's like I like doing a bit of magic, but then I like sort of kind of running in with swords, but then I like using my shield, and I like doing a bit of everything. But then because you do a bit of everything, you don't get good at one thing, and then your guys sort of like a bit average, kind of like me, really. You know, <laughs> just a bit meh. good at most things, but not great at anything. Really, just sort of. Meh. Yeah. I suck yeah. at games. That's why I don't play any. Do you know I, mean, I have no orientation. I just spin in place because I'm incapable of figuring out where my character is supposed to go. Oh, that's so brilliant. I just don't play. I, I, I get lost in the mall. You know, and I, I had to learn every pattern to wherever I'm going because else I'm getting lost. The so, first okay. time I played Left 4 Dead, it was a, uh, on a, a local server with my, my roommates at the time. And I spent like five minutes trying to get through a door. Because <laughs> I was just sort of going like that and trying to turn and not quite getting it, yeah. and then walking and going to a wall, and then I turned and went the other way and ran off a roof. <laughs> and died. Game for dead. <laughs> my, yeah. my my missus like trying to get I I thought well, we'll spend you know some time together you know we'll do things. No, I I yeah. sit there and watch Carnation Street and standards and things. So maybe you should spend some time doing what things I like doing. So we'll play some games and try to teach her. How to play games was like I think I've said this previously in a podcast, but it's a nightmare. She sits there and she spins around and she looks at the ground or she spins around and yeah. she looks at the ceiling. And then when she sort of kind of gets herself sort of centered and she's walking around, as soon as somebody shoots at her, she's like, <laughs> and run, runs it off. And then just hands me the controller and it's just like, damn it, get in there, you know. Right. So anyway, following so, you, Vegas, top stuff. Right, so Christina, what have you got? Uh, have you read, watched something, something good? Uh, I have no idea. I've I've read a lot of books lately, so um, I watched the movie that I reviewed for Geek Pride. And we would hope so. Yes, <laughs> and I actually interviewed the director of the movie for Geek Pride as well. Go figure. Um, and uh, it's this one. Wait, can you see this? No, you can't see this because it's blaring. It's called The Last Days of Edgar Harding. And I heard of it over the uh, internet, clearly, on Tumblr, because it's some indie British movie that no one heard about. And it's good, but the only thing that actually bugs me is that they, when they made the publicity for the movie, they pimped it out as though it was about one specific actor, as in he was the lead. He was not. Uh... And they did it because he's got like a, a million fangirls that are like 12 and dream about marrying him, and they probably bought the DVD and ended up very disappointed because it it deals with a lot of dark themes like child abuse and rape and sexual abuse. So what's like the that. what's the general theme of the film then? So I think I just listed it. I know it's about the it. band <laughs> that uh, wants to become famous and just how far they're willing to go to keep the fame that they achieved briefly. They're famous for like a day and then they end up. Can I spoil everyone? Um, they end up killing... I think I... I yeah. <laughs> they kill their uh, manager and hide his body. And nice. I, then the body gets stolen. <laughs> it's weird. It's a very weird movie. Oh. It's British, clearly. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah. What, what yeah. kind of band are they? Um, <laughs> I love that that is what your opinion and judgment hinges on. Well, like... yeah. It does, <laughs> it does, what kind of band are they? Uh, actually, I think they um, the band that played all the songs, it's called Plasticine or something. I'm not sure, but they're a rock band. Is it like, Primarily. are they death metal or are they like... No, 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 like... Just generic, like... Generic, yeah, soft. Kiss. They're nice. not like Kiss, are they? They best not be. They're not <laughs> like Kiss, no, they're like... I don't know, the only word that comes to mind right now is Nickelback, but they're not like Nickelback. Oh. So they're I not like Nickelback. Nickelback. 
No, oh. no. Laura, I like Nickelback too. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. There is. Do no, but like the, the song is actually online, so you, you could all play it. It's called. I'm, I forgot how it's called, but I like it. I know it by heart. I just don't remember the name. Sing it. Sing it for us. <laughs> no, I can't sing. I'm sorry. If I sing, okay. everyone will tune off and just walk away. Okay. <laughs> You know, sorry, Nickelback just reminds me of a visit to the Clap Clinic, basically. When I think of Nickelback, I think going to get something jammed up in the job site. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two there's three reasons why I really don't like Nickelback, is because it sort of brings back painful memories. Which song? It wasn't. I don't which so STI I can hear. It's a very long story. Uh, it's quite. It's quite humorous. But it was all many these years, years ago. Ah. Uh, uh, all the these name years. Of the song. It's all these years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. The, the, yeah, Nickelback sort of have sort of kind of um, resonating sort of kind of painful memories for me. Not just because of the music. <laughs> which song though? Which song? <laughs> I can't even remember. It was one of the. No, they're Look at this Spider-Man. photograph. <laughs> yes, I can't remember what it is. But yeah, well, well, let's not talk about it. It's making me feel nauseous now, even thinking about it. <laughs> no, let's talk about another band. The Backstreet Boys. Take that. Limp Biscuit, yo. Okay, Laura. I liked Limp Biscuit in high school. I, you know what? Limp Biscuit have two good albums, and that's it. I know we've discussed this before, Kirsten, but you need to get over it. Limp Biscuit have two good <laughs> albums, and then they just fucking. Turn shite. Right, well, we'll leave it at that, yeah. I, yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I like the sound of that shite. I'll use that. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down in like a, yeah, and use it. Yeah, ne- the yeah, next podcast, more. Christina, you've got to do it in a Northern Irish accent. Yeah, watch, watch shite. Pink Human and listen to, what's his Hi. name? The Little Hi, Hobbit. Hi, Brian Kai. Aiden Turner, right. I'll listen to Aiden Turner and I'll try to mimic his accent. <laughs> No, just listen to Sean Bean. Mimic his accent. You'd be a great love. That's... Oh, I love Sean Bean. Yes, yeah. I love Sean Bean as well. Yeah, He's we, we my were talking about so. Sharp, weren't we? Yes. How people don't know who Sharp is. I, I don't know. Like, ugh. People awesome. disappoint me. You know, I, I put a... Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I put a picture on um, Geek Pride because I found all the Sharp series on YouTube. And mm-hmm. I've seen them all before. But I thought I was like, awesome, free. I can just watch them in my spare time now instead of sticking a DVD on. So that's awesome. You know, I read, um, I've read all the books. I've got all the books, even the sort of kind of like small short story ones that Cornwell uh, wrote a while back. And uh, you know, so good, so good. Do only, only one thing that sort of slightly annoys me about the TV series is it was a bit sort of. It's not as epic as the book sometimes, especially when you've got like the big battles and then you've got the same. <laughs> there's there's one extra they use. There's one extra they use in the Sharp series all the time, and he's always got this dodgy tash on. But you know, it's like one day he's he's dodgy tashed, sort of shackle wearing, sort of uh, um, British soldier, and then he's dodgy tashed, sort of Frenchman. And it's just like, wait a minute, you you just died five minutes ago on the British side, and now you're French. They're on a budget. What do you, want? <laughs> you know, it's not like in the books when you can. Spend hours on one episode. I know, battle. but then you got you got like Battle of Waterloo, and there's like ten of them. You know, ah, there's, there's ten guys, and they're all sort of <laughs> like a, in like a, a kid game of cops and robbers, and when yeah. one catches the other, they join the team. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. And it's just bizarre, but there you go. I still love it. Sean Bean's in it. He's my hero. So there you go. Aww. He's awesome. Now yeah. I want to watch Sharp again and Hornblower. <laughs> Hornblower, <laughs> yeah. Hornblower's good. Yeah. Right. So Laura. What is your thing? Book, movie, game? Um, I just read the Graveyard book by Neil Gaiman like today because my sister got it for me as a birthday present. Uh, my birthday's on the 16th for the curious. Yeah, um, I'm going to start sending presents. Yeah, <laughs> do that. A, pony, a um, Romanian pony. <laughs> but yeah, my, my sister got me the book and then um, spilt tea all over my book because that's what sisters do. No, I was sat I was sat on the, the sofa with the book and a cup of tea and my sister's boyfriend was sat there and my sister was there and he wanted an apple. She decided to throw it and it went over, landed in my cup of tea, splashed it everywhere and so I ruined my book and also dislocated my toe in that. So that was kind of an adventure. How did you dislocate your toe when somebody was throwing an apple at you? I, I like tensed did up. You, did you fend it, it off out. with your foot? 
<laughs> no, no, I just, well, my joints kind of fall out for no apparent reason, because, you know. All <laughs> age, Laura. All age. This is how I roll. <laughs> yeah. So, so the book shit then, happens. What, what's, it, what's it like? Well, tea stained. Um, but other than that, like the words are really good. It's a good book. I cried at the end. What's but, the premise? You know, it, it is, um, there's a little boy whose family get murdered and he's like a year old and he just kind of toddles out of the house and up to a graveyard uh, while his family are being murdered. And then the, the ghosts in the graveyard take him in and look after him. So he grows up in a graveyard, kind of learning like history and and reading and like he learns reading by reading the gravestones and stuff and grows up there and then eventually it ends with him having to track down the guy who killed his fa family so yeah it's all very good so uh, oh she put her phone she didn't want to hear about it yeah i want i wanted to keep it spoiler free because i might want to read it i hate spoilers I'm oh that, that is basically things. the spoiler free version I didn't other than the fact that I cry at the end but I cry at the end of most things so that's not really a spoiler. Have you read The Fault in Our Stars? No. Read it you'll cry at the end. Okay. Trust me I cried. I never cry at books but at that uh, one oh my god. Christina really, just wants me to be miserable. <laughs> no because you'll I, be miserable but you'll be happy about it like you know. Okay. <laughs> I cry at war films and sort of kind of films where Sean Bean dies generally so. So I, all Sean Bean movies. <laughs> 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 the first, yeah, the first season of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Lord oh the man, Real. that was Lord horrible. Of the Rings have to say that. Horrible, horrible. It's... I just finished Game of Thrones, so I'm happy. What the books? No, I haven't even. St oh, I started the books, but I'm still stuck on page 100. I think the book yeah. is over there. On the uh, no, the, the, the first series. Book. The first. Yeah, book. only the first book. Yeah, just, I don't really honest, like his style. The first book is just like the mm. first series, yeah. There's not a lot of difference in it. That's what sort of slightly, slightly annoyed me. It's so like I read, um, like I I knew about the books but didn't really read them because I was a bit of a, a Lord of the Rings elitist and wouldn't sort of kind of sully myself on sort of other things that were sort of kind of trying to be like them. But it's not like obviously it was a mistake. I, it's not anything like it really at all. I was just sort of kind of me being snobbish. But I started reading them just before the series came out. And um, the first book is just like the first series, but then it suddenly changed, and like the second second series is nothing like the book, and then the third series is like kind of like the book, but not, and it's sort of kind of annoying because it's just like I know it doesn't really matter that much, but it's frustrating when they change things and you're sort of like that didn't happen, and you know what geeks are like, like that didn't happen, he doesn't yeah. exist, he dies. Yeah, stuff it's like that. Because it's TV, it's like The Walking Dead where they added characters that were not in the comic. They do it because people like them. And they keep them because people like them. True like, Blood oh, is a similar thing guy. as well. Because like, uh, Lafayette in True Blood was meant to die at like the beginning of the yeah. first season. I, I read the first and... four books. I was so disappointed he lived. I mean, I like Lafayette. But just kill him. Oh, no. I, I, I See, I kind of like when ongoing series sort of, you know, change stuff like that because it means you can get a different you can get a different experience yeah I have a friend who's like sorry I'm, I'm hearing echoes it's really sorry. weird sorry <laughs> no it's okay but no it's like you get a different experience reading the book and watching the show so you, you know it's not like one or another and you're kind of going well the book did it better yeah so no, I have a friend who's like a massive True Blood fan I'm, I'm not I was I'm not now but yeah. she got really pissed because the book series ended and they decided who who Suki will be with and she got so mad okay. I think she's going to burn the books or something <laughs> I'm saying it wrong Suki like, Suki yeah. well, I, I think, think, that's, into it. I I think, think that's the root the root of all my love for True Blood is the oh my gosh I'm a fairy <laughs> <laughs> like all that voices, and I just really like the accents. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a good one. I, as well. I, I like Eric Northman. So. Oh, every every woman does. Every man does. Men again. I know God people like it. feel better, and I'm like, why? No, no. I don't like I don't like vampire bills. Sorry. See, I, I can't do an accent like you. No, no, it, it's actually pronounced vampire bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to, you have to have that girlish innocence, excitement. And I put it to like, you, ladies. 
that you objectify men just as much as men probably objectify women. No. There's more. a lot of more. sort of like. <laughs> <More>. <laughs> You, sh you guys, does anyone have Tumblr? Trust me, if you go on Tumblr, you see objectification at its best. Honestly, I think I think I objectify women more than anyone I've ever met objectifies <laughs> anyone else I've ever met. <laughs> my, my husband even agrees with me on that. You objectifying person. I know, I know. It's, like, it's, it's horrible going into some people's tags. Uh, like on Tumblr, you have tags. You, know, you can go on Doctor Who tag and see everything yeah. people post about Doctor Who. But the one thing that actually annoys me, and I know it has nothing to do with the conversation, but it kind of does, and it's something that I saw posted on someone's wall, is when people say things like, um, insert celebrity name here, I want you to come and rape me because I want to bear your children. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? And then you look at the Can't you just ask them like for 12. consensual sex? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, it's it's make everywhere. love to me so I can have your children. No, it's everywhere. You guys should Just... read YouTube comments. Yes, I read those, and tweets. Oh and no, it, you're like people are. I stupid. can't read sorry, YouTube people. comments. I can't read YouTube comments because I get like the two anger. comments Arash. down, and I start hating the world. Yeah, yeah it's that's sort of, the comments. That annoys me. If like I know we've gone off on a tangent, but it sort of. It annoys me when you see something really awesome, really beautiful on, on YouTube, and then you look, and then there's a bunch of abusive comments, and then there's a load yeah. of thumbs downs, and you're like, this guy's bloody got no legs and no arms, and he's helped children, and he does this, you know, and he and he and he's flown to the moon with a power of soda soda pops or something, you know, yeah. and, you know, he's an awesome guy, but yet you've still got twenty people don't like this. Why would you not like that? The guy's freaking awesome. I don't know. I sometimes think they don't like the quality of the video. Like, it's pixelated or something, and they just go, oh, thumbs down, because psh, I'm a pixel. Yeah, but freak. it's, when it gets in the comments, especially, like, music videos, like, I'm a huge Amanda Palmer fan, and, like, if you go and look at her videos, there are so many comments just going, ugh, what a hipster. It's like, if you don't like her, why are you watching the whole video and then going, <laughs> yeah, she's a bit of a hipster. I'm not fond of that. I'm going to comment and say she's a hipster, just in case people need to know that. It's like, yeah. why? Why take time out of your day? Watch something else. <laughs> Bring joy to the world. Some people feel better when they make others miserable. You know, like this they is, suck the joy out of them. It's very true. It's like annoying. joy vampires. Joy vampires, yeah. Yes. They, had to actually, they actually have a name, emotional vampires, not joy vampires. Yeah, like chi vampires. Yeah, but they're those they're the weird like goth kids who kind of stand and go, I'm feeding off your energy. <laughs> and now I am strong because people are crazy in this Well, they're world. they knockabout. I've never seen them them fog. It used to be Chili's Rock. Yeah. Or... Maybe like hang out with more goths because there'll be some. <laughs> used to, like gather in the there's a main square and the second main square and a third main square and in the third main square here they used to gather the goths and just occupy every bench that was available. But you get that <laughs> most cities I think. You get that imagine like, like a flock of crows but all goths. <laughs> yeah, just like they're... on the side of buildings just like... <laughs> no, they were very quiet and nice and they did nothing and people just expected yes. them to do something like evil or villainous or whatever yeah. nope. <laughs> to be fair I, I should, I should clarify I, I don't have a problem with goths many of my good friends are goths it's just the, the mental ones that annoy me I think people that. who have opinion, uh, not opinions the, the, the people that have the stereotype about what a goth should be are more yeah. worrisome than the goths themselves Gearson yeah. used to be. Gearson used to be a goth, didn't you, mate? Yeah. He used to have a trench coat. Reform. Back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day, and then you know things happened, and then I found the love of kiss and <laughs> other things, and then I thought, you know what, you know what, you know, it's about it's about just enjoying it. You know what I mean? Just enjoying your music and having a bit of fun. Fun's my number one number one thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no need for being miserable in a trench coat, you know. There's no need. There's yeah. Too That's what I was, and I was like, oh, why am I doing this? Although listening to Cradle of Filth was cool. I still listen to Cradle of Filth, still listen to Marilyn Manson, you know. But um, he's just kind of, I don't know, you, 
just move away from it sometimes, or you don't, you just stay with it. It's really the person, isn't it? At the end of the day. Yeah. You can't, you can't really say anything more about it. Mm. I mean, you know, I traded him a trench coat for a backwards red cap. <laughs> right, well, I guess uh, I'll say what uh, I've been doing then, other than editing photographs for. Um, Girl I Know's Wedding, which has taken me a long time, but hopefully getting over it. Um, I have been playing a game, because I, um, I was watching The Bridge Too Far yesterday, which is one of my favourite all-time war films, and that sort of got me in the mood to play sort of kind of like, like a war game, and uh, I've been playing, a, uh, I was looking for a game called Panzer General that me and my father used to play sort of quite a lot when, we, when I was a kid, and you know, Back in the day, where we, you know, used to sort of kind of get on the computer, and then my dad would beat me all the time at this game. So I thought, right, gonna get it and play it. And uh, I found a, a newer version of it called uh, Panzer Corps, and uh, I've been playing it all day. And it's uh, it sort of kind of was a massive nostalgia trip for me because it's like it's like graphics are pretty bad. It's all like hexes and you know two D sort of kind of um, pictures and things like that. But you know. I enjoyed it, you know. Obviously, nothing you guys would probably be interested in, but you know, for for me, the sort of kind of big mass of nostalgia trip, you know, playing war games with my dad. And, uh, yeah. To be fair, I, I just like the long pause between uh, my dad would beat me <laughs> at the game. <laughs> yeah, there was a long pause, which was like, oh, good. I thought this was going to get really dark. Yeah. <laughs> Good. No, we we did. We used to like uh, we used to have regular sort of kind of board game, uh, computer game sort of kind of nights where I'd um, like oh, back in the day. Obviously, you didn't have a million computers per house and stuff. It was all like we had an Atari ST and then obviously then we had a PC. And when the first PC came, you know, we used to sort of hot seat. So basically, when we played this game, my dad would go move his guys in the screen and then you know, get up and I move, and then it would be my turn and. We'd spend like hours going back and forth on the computer, yeah. sort of playing this game, and uh, he generally win. So. Kids, this this was what PV, PVC PC gaming was like. PVC. Kids, yeah, kids back in the watching. back in the day, yeah. MS DOS and things where you had to type in commands and things to get on the computer and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, not not really interesting. You, I'm 32. <laughs> oh. Hmm. No, I was just thinking because you you spoke of commands and things like that, and I don't remember that. Okay, yeah. first, but first, I'm, I'm not that much younger. So. The first the first PC we had, you know, it was all MS DOS. So you had to type in sort of you had to type in commands to sort of load things, and then obviously it quickly evolved, and you got Windows, and then Windows ninety five and things like that. But um, yeah. yeah, I remember like you know, I... sorry, my friend. Sorry, my friend had a computer when we were like seven and it was the most advanced thing I'd ever seen and it was like oh my god this is amazing it was Windows 92 <laughs> <laughs> and it's just looking back and it was like you know one of those beige plastic ones that's about that thick and yeah and looking back you, it's like oh I had no remember, idea back then do you remember the BBC's you know the big you know computers with the, like and floppy disks and they had these big sort of kind oh, of like yes. Floppy disks, yeah. Floppy disks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I still have a floppy disk. I, I don't have anything to fit it in, but I have my one. No, my like... mum actually tried to give me something on a floppy disk fairly recently, and I was like, "Yeah, computers don't take those anymore." <laughs> <laughs> That's just very true. Actually, I never thought about. It. I don't even think I've got a floppy yeah. drive anywhere. You're right. Yeah. My yeah. laptop yeah. has nothing like that anymore. Yeah, floppy My disks. PC had because it was a very old thing. Mm. Upgraded, so. Yeah. Mine's all just USB ports. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. It's all about USB ports these days, isn't it? USB it is. ports. And the thing is, like, me- you just think about it, right? I remember the first computer I got when I was in university. My dad bought me, and it had something like twenty gigabytes of space. And I was like, whoa. No, I lie. Three gigabytes. It had three gigabytes of space. And I was like, whoa. That's a lot of space. Now I've got like three terabytes worth of um, space on my computer. And it's not enough. Yeah, they it's did, not enough. It's uh, like full. <laughs> what is it? You know the film War Games? Yes. Yeah, they have the. They brag about having the. Um, 
the computer and that having however much memory it has, I can't remember the exact number, but they worked it out and they said that it would not um, load a Word document, like a current Word document, really? would not be able to load on the War Games computer. <laughs> it was massive as well. It was massive. Yeah. So nice. it, it really sucked up tic-tac-toe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you can't, if you, you know, like it's not really a supercomputer if there's, um, it's not really a supercomputer if you can't beat itself at tic-tac-toe. No. There's a lot of reverb going on right now. Who's got their headphone off? Not me. Me neither. Mm. Right. Let's blame Laura. Cause she's Let's blame Laura. Laura. No! Let's blame Laura. It's not me. It's you, it's you. It's always you. <laughs> Right. Anyway, so um, Gearson, you were talking about earlier Marvel um, Lego. Marvel Lego way. Right. Have you seen? Is it? I posted the thing on the writers' forum, like a video, where they've shown loads of characters that they've done for the Marvel Lego. Yeah. The game that's coming out. Has any? Has any? You guys watched it? I've seen the videos, mate. Yeah. No. Well, I but I you. want a Marvel Lego Squirrel Girl because that would be cool. <laughs> well, I think there's there's um they've they've shown loads of characters on it. Some of them like I'd never seen before, uh, and like they've even got like um oh, what was he called now that duck? The duck. Yeah, the duck. Uh, is it Ed the duck? Ed the duck. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Howard Marvel. the duck. Howard. Howard the duck. Yeah. Howard, Howard the duck. Howard the duck. Yeah, they've even got Howard the duck in it. Um, and they've even put some like the darker characters in there as well. Like they've got Ghost Rider and Frank right. Castle. Yes, they've got the yeah. Punisher in Lego, oh. <laughs> and he's the meanest looking Lego character I've ever seen. It's awesome. Um, and uh, they've, they've, they've kind of I've been watching interviews and all that with it all, and they've really gone to town on it. This this Lego title as well. It's 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 bigger than um, like the, the Batman ones that they've done. It's more open world. Right, and they've got like all the major X Men kind. Oh, not X Men. I mean, um, Marvel families in it as well. Um, they've announced that they've even got like the X Men uh, mansion, an executive Exer school for gifted young people. They've got like all in Lego form. They've done like even obscure characters uh, and all that kind of like stuff. Like Squirrel and Girl. I think I think she's yeah I think she's in the actual fit. There's some of the tail that flies about. Does she fly about? She doesn't really fly. She kind of jumps. <laughs> there's, there's some person with a funny tail now, and I was and Smith was saying to me, "Who's that?" And I'm like, "I don't have no fucking clue, mate." Um, but no, like they've even got like the character animations on them as well. Look, look absolutely awesome. There's one where they've got Venom, and he's juggling some Marvel like Lego skulls, like on his um, tentacles and all that kind of stuff. It's awesome. Um, and they've even got like giant Lego characters in it as well. Like that come out? That's in it's October apparently, and believe it or not, it's just made down the road from from Manchester, at Traveller's Tales. Really? Which I believe is in Warrington. Oh no way! Yeah, all the, mainly a lot of the Lego stuff's made in Warrington. Oh no way! That's really there good. you go. And they've actually listened to the fans of it all as well. They've got some of the big, big voice actors in. Um, Doing the characters, I forgot what the guy is who plays, um, does the Assassin's Creed games, and and he's done some stuff on Batman, um, Batman games and whatnot, and yeah, he's he's awesome. I'm gonna hazard a guess and say that Nolan North is probably voicing Deadpool. I'm not too he, sure. Because no, Nolan North voices like everyone, but specifically Deadpool. <laughs> They've um, they've put Deadpool in there and they've like they've kept him kind of true to his comic character as well, but toned it down obviously for yeah. for, for the families. Um, but no, it's 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 looking good. It's looking good, and I'm quite excited because I'm a big fan of Lego. I like my Lego. Um, and the last game I played was a Lord of the Rings one, which I still haven't finished, and that was really good. What they did with that and kept it, you know, pretty true to Lord of the Rings. You got your obviously your little Lego bits in there, that are different. Um, like the Batman games are good. 
you know, you can't grumble at a Lego game as well. Everyone can join in and play. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah my um, my sort of my my uh, nephews, they really love their um, their Lego games. They go for they go wild for it. Some Skylanders and Lego, basically, that's what they're into. What's Skylanders? Skylanders is like it's actually, and I remember, I wish I had this when I was a kid because I could well get into this. Basically, it's a computer game for your Xbox, but you get this sort of kind of like portal thing. It's like a circular thing with a light on it, and you get these sort of like models with um, like orange bottoms. And when you put them on the portal, they glow up, and then that character goes on the the game. So you can buy different characters and things. It's a massive money uh, money yeah. spinning scheme. Yeah, but but no, it's like, awesome. it just looks cool being able to collect the characters and like yeah. put them on the things. And then the character appears in the game and it's just cool. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant. It's, I, I could Who well get cares it. how much money it costs? Well, I've noticed yeah. like every time I've been to HMV and all that, they've got absolutely loads of the stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm swear to God, that is Spyro the Dragon in it or something? Yeah. Is... Love Spyro. Because I was like, yeah. hang on a minute, I saw something that was like, Spiral the Dragon, that. Uh, and did it. I remember you used to play the Spiral the Dragon games, it used to be awesome. Yeah, I sit there and play that with my nephews and stuff, and uh, that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, if that was around when I was a kid, I well would have bought every single one of them. To be honest, I've been sitting there thinking about it myself, just going, can I justify collecting these and then say yeah. they're for look and for Alfie, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but they're, they're good. I think it's a good... Do you get good Matt? Team. Matt, you, you're like the, the head honcho in charge of a site called Geek Pride. I don't think you need to come up with excuses to buy collectible toys and video games. Yeah, it's for it's, it's, more, it's more the sort of kind of whenever whenever the uh, whenever the bill comes through and the missus oh. is kind of going, uh, what what's this a hundred a thousand pounds in Skylanders? What are you being doing? Uh, it's for work. It's for work. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> It'll pay off in the end. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. until the next fad comes in, so it'll be like you know when pogs were big, yeah. you know, pogs were awesome, you know, and something else will come in. Pokemon it was like cards. X X X Files cards, X Files cards and things. Oh, I remember having them. Tamagotchis. Tamagotchis. Oh, Tamagotchis. Oh, yeah. They still sell that here, I think. Yeah. The old ones, the big bulky yeah. ones that you can put in your pocket. No, I'd, I'd I had it. a cat one and it died. I didn't get a Tamagotchi as a kid. What about I have oh. on my phone. Do you remember those Furbies? Those things that used to talk to each other. Oh, yeah. I love my Furby. Well, right. when I had it, They're I didn't have it. Anymore. Freaky, They're freaky. Man. <laughs> they are creepy. Like yes. my ex, my ex used to have three or four of them, and they literally you just sit them on. They'd be sitting there, yeah, and you'd be all you know doing some doing your A game, sweet loving and stuff, and then suddenly they'd be all like looking at you and then talking and shit, and you're like, holy fuck, what are you doing? Putting you completely off your game, and then it's just like, oh, man, yeah, there's no. nothing, there's nothing quite like sort of. Josh dropping off to sleep, and then suddenly your Furby is like, hungry, feed me. Yes, like, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Never sleeping again, like covers up to there. Just... I don't like toys that yeah. can talk. I don't. Or yeah. dolls. I don't like dolls. <laughs> they they creep me out because I was a kid and I watched this horror movie and there was, was this Chucky? doll that was... No, it was not Chucky. It was about uh, like girl dolls. Is it called that... Dolls by any chance? The what? Is it called dolls? Because there's I a horror no movie idea. called dolls. I don't know, but they had a doll that was that looked just like one that I had. You know, it was she was dressed in a white dress and had uh, black tails, uh, uh, ponytails. Yeah. And she just walked around ready to kill people in a very creepy way. So. You know, I actually have I like a creepy. Dolls. I have. Pushies, I have a creepy though. China doll. My my gran who who died gave me a creepy China doll, and I used to when I was like. 13, I used to just move it around my room, so every time people came in my room, it was in a different place. <laughs> Those things freak me out, man. They're <laughs> real. You know, I had, um, I, I don't believe in ghosts or anything anymore and stuff, but I used to, like, loads when I was a kid. And we went to this, like, alleged sort of haunted mansion that's sort of where we live uh, in Northern Ireland. And we were sort of walking around the house, and they were like, yeah, and this room is haunted by my great great granny and stuff and you can tell it's really cold and you know it's a bit freaky in here and there was loads of those dolls everywhere in this room and me and my mate were sitting there sort of kind of just goofing off and just sort of kind of looking at them you know 
kind of going, mm, stupid dolls. I swear <laughs> to God, one of them, one of them literally was at the back of a chair and it just flew off the chair and we're like, <laughs> shit, ran out and they wouldn't come back in again. <laughs> just like, I like, I like to look at that from the other side and think that the doll was going, oh God, my life is stupid. What have I been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Jumped off the shelf because it wasn't, just wasn't worth it anymore. <laughs> yeah, it could be. But it was just like, you drove ran... that doll to suicide, yeah. Matt. You Bastard. No, I, I, I bet it was the granny trying to hit them but failing because grannies don't have good aim. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Face good arms. Arms. There you go. But, uh, I think it was called the Blue Room or something, but it was just like, you know, we you know, the forest where I live, say I live in a forest. But the forest where I live, it's like um it, it's got like a white lady, it's got a, a headless horseman, and it's got obviously a granny that likes throwing dolls at kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have no ghosts. I'm, I'm feeling left out right now. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. Busting makes me feel good. Busting makes me feel good. Yeah. You know, Ghostbusters 3, they're still thinking about it. Could happen. Yep. Well, we'll see what happens, mate. Yep. I have a I have a mate who was... Uh, he sent me some photographs recently where he was just... Uh, he was at the uh, Ghostbusting... Um, headquarters, wherever it is, uh, you know, oh, yeah. the, the firehouse. I showed you the photographs, didn't I? Yeah. And he's sitting there in front of the firehouse. You know, that's pretty cool. Mm. Right. Anyway, so I think that's pretty much going to be it for us. Unless anybody's got anything else they want to quickly talk about. We've got a few more minutes. I need a wee. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need yeah, a slan- we need a slanderous comment at the end. This then. So. Who wants to head us off with a slanderous comment for the end of this? I have one. Go on then. Men are objects put on this planet for women's amusement. <laughs> what? I Men are things. I agree. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it's, like it's a slanderous note. I in no way endorse that opinion. Yes. Because it's slanderous. <laughs> yeah. But of course. Okay. <laughs> well then that's uh, being... A shorter episode, actually, where I think we might actually be on bang on the R. So I've been Matt Geary. See you later. I've been gazed in as usual. Goodbye, kids. Bye. <laughs> I've been Laura Maya. See you later. Cheers, guys. <laughs>